James, and today I am making a New York strip steak with a mushroom brandy sauce the size of an adult potato that was pre-roasted with, with parsley and butter and sauteed broccoli. Now, first I'm going to do, get my olive oil, well, my canola oil in. When you put the steak in, you want to put it away from the body so nothing will splash back. And I just shake. To each side, you want to stir it for at least two to three minutes. And also get the ends. And as I'm heating this up and letting the, uh, the top and the bottom, or well, the top now, be nice and seared, I'm going to heat up my sauce which was made with brandy wine, chicken stock, veal stock, shallots, and, and shiitake mushrooms. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. It's starting to get like a real nice tear on the bottom. You might want to go a little bit more. So you might want to rub it with the oil. Maybe go for another minute. Now my sauce has been melted. I'm adding fat. That's just as, as much as I need it as well. So we're kind of reduced. Now back to my steak. That's a nice bit of on the top. That's what they're mostly looking for. You don't want it to get black. Also, you don't want it too light. That smoke is also meaning you're doing a good job. The thing about it being a nice sear is that you want to let it sit. You don't want to keep flipping it and moving it. Because you want to just you want it to cook on each side perfectly. If you're, if you're doing that, it's not going to be as rare or however like it as you want to. So that's enough. What I'm going to do now is cook to the end. You want to kind of render that fat on the end. So look at the flavor of that. Not too quick, not too long. Again, each side. Me personally, I like to get all around so I get the bottom and the top. Or the top end. Now I'm going to do now. I'm going to heat a little bit. I'm gonna add my thyme and my garlic to get a stick a little aroma effect. Add that, I wanna hear a fry. Add my garlic. Then add two, two pieces of butter. And get that going. Now what we want to do now, cook the back base over the steak. And put the steak on top as well. Real good. 
good. Usually I pick as well, this is me personally. I sit my steak on top of it for a little bit. Let that sit for a good few seconds. Take it off and put it right in the plate. Here is my herb butter. It has some salt, pepper, garlic, rosemary, and, and finely cut basil. Since I already made my steak, what I'm going to do is cut almost a half an inch. Just leave it on the side. Just in case, you know, customers may want a little extra butter on their steak, which a lot of people do, and what I recommend. You like probably like two, two or three. If you want more, you can just leave it on the side. And they have New York strip steak, mushroom granny sauce, most of Idaho potatoes, wedges, and sauteed broccoli. 